Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. When it comes to moving heavy equipment and cargo across long distances by land, trains remain the most efficient and affordable option. Some modern trains can pull more than 100 cars, stretching many miles back from the engine. In many cases, the cargo containers you see on the backs of tractor trailers are transferred directly onto flat train car platforms. When the train reaches its destination, there is also provision for loading these containers from the train cars directly onto trucks for onward transmission to their owners. This process is called intermodal shipment, which basically describes the combination of trucks and trains to move freight in massive shipping containers. It is, however, facilitated by gigantic cranes capable of effortlessly lifting and positioning massive thousand-ton containerized freight at a time. One of the newest innovations in the world of freight is what's known as the Mega Swing. Rather than using huge, traditional cranes to load and unload cargo containers, the Mega Swing is a specially modified train car with built-in hydraulics. This means that a truck can simply back the load onto the open swing. After detaching, an operator can use the lift to move the load back into place. Once the swing is relocked, it more or less functions as a standard flat platform train car. When it arrives at its destination, the car can unload itself in much the same way. A similar system is being operated in France, where Lohr Railway Systems has designed a ramp train car that allows tractor trailers to simply drive onto the car itself at a 40 degree angle. The tractor head then detaches its load and drives off, while the train car moves the ramp back into the straight position. One of the best things about this mechanism is that it allows the entire rear wagon of the tractor trailer to be transported, wheels and all. While international logistics is incredibly important, no organization expends more time and effort getting things from one distant location to the other than the military. Be it in peacetime or during war, it is incredibly important that troops and tanks get where they need to be quickly, efficiently, and safely. Trains, of course, are a big part of this process. Typically, standard flat platform train cars are used. But ramps and other devices must sometimes be employed. Unlike cargo containers, tanks and other mobile artillery can simply be driven into place. There are times, however, when tanks need to be moved much further and much faster than even the best trains in the world can manage. For this, the U.S. military as well as other advanced militaries use the C-17 Globemaster. This massive military transport craft was first introduced in the U.S. in the early 1990s. At 174 feet long and with a wingspan of 169 feet, the Globemaster is capable of carrying up to 170,000 pounds of cargo. And reach an unfueled range of about 2,400 nautical miles. It has enough room in its hold for up to three Bradley armored vehicles. Or, of course, a single M1 Abrams tank with other vehicles. It has 18 pallet positions, including four on the ramp. 
even fully loaded, the C-17 can reach speeds of 520 miles per hour, ensuring timely delivery of troops, supplies, and equipment. The C-17 also uses its large cargo bay door for airdrop missions. This can include deploying paratroopers or special platforms containing vehicles and supplies. These platforms are basically flat metal pallets to which a vehicle like a jeep or tank is chained. Once fitted with special self-deploying parachutes, the entire platform can be rolled out of the rear hatch right over the drop zone. In a matter of minutes, the vehicle will reach the ground where it can be unhooked and driven away. This ensures that the plane itself does not need to risk landing in a hostile area like a combat zone. It's also useful given the fact that large, heavy planes like the C-17 often have more extensive runway demands than smaller aircraft. The aircraft also serves in humanitarian situations where large quantities of food need to be airdropped. And it just goes to show you that even though it's a military aircraft, uh, this airplane brings a lot of hope and a lot of uh, uh, food and nourishment to anybody in need. In situations where versatility is more needed than sheer size and payload capacity, militaries around the world often turn to medium tactical transport aircraft like the CASA C-295, which made its first flight with the Spanish Air Force in 2001. One of the most versatile planes around, this medium-sized, prop-driven plane has performed several medical evacuations, maritime patrols, tactical transport, and airdrops. The C-295 has a massive capacity considering it is only 80 feet long. Its cargo hold can fit up to 73 troops or 48 paratroopers, 27 stretchers and medevac units, or up to 20,000 pounds of supplies during emergencies. Its smaller size also allows the C-295 to operate on much smaller, rural airstrips, which is why it's prized by countries like Colombia, India, Angola, and Canada. This also makes it ideal for rescue missions. In September 2020, Canada unveiled a specially designed C-295, known as the FWSAR, manufactured by Airbus. So all in all, we have invested close to 1 million man hours of engineering in developing the fixed wing star version. So as you can imagine, we have modified almost all the systems in the aircraft and we have brought the C-295 to the next level. One of the main modifications we have done is related to the aerodynamic performance of the machine. Okay? One of the challenges we had was to bring the C-295 farther and faster so the Air Force is able to cope with the search and rescue missions in remote regions within Canada. This search and rescue craft is truly unique in a lot of ways. Aside from being bright yellow in order to improve overall visibility from the ground, it also has special winglets that aid in its carrying heavier payloads over longer distances. This contributes to fuel savings and allows the aircraft to perform a wider variety of missions. Airbus also designed the FWSAR with advanced avionics and a reinforced fuselage in case the crew ever needed to ditch in the ocean. Whether reaching out to the needy during search and rescue missions, transporting military hardware, or freighting thousand-ton loads across long distances by train, technology has provided humanity with the means for greater efficiency with each passing day.
That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.